Well, blessings, everybody, and welcome back to Matthew Part 1. We're beginning the last lesson here, okay? Don't worry, we continue Part 2, and so we'll be in that very, very soon. Uh, today, we begin looking at Matthew, the 13th chapter. So we would do well to look, read through the entire 13th chapter. We're just going to look at a portion of it today. But read the 13th chapter just to see what's going on. What you will find is that Jesus is speaking in parables right here. And they were parables where he taught about his kingdom. Now, make sure you pay attention to verses 10 through 17 right now, okay? Because it answers the question of why Jesus spoke in parables. Why was he talking about this way? Most of the crowds following him didn't see, they didn't hear, nor did they understand. He spoke to those who didn't have ears to hear, and those who didn't want to hear. You know, I think a lot of the uh, professing church today is a lot like this. They say they want to hear. They want to follow the latest hip-hop happening now thing. I could point it out in our local community right here, how folks have gone from one church to the next church to the next church, and the one that's got the slickest program, got the most amazing things. I could take you back over 50 years of my life in describing this. People have always been like that. You see the word hear and hearing or some form of that 16 times in this chapter. So the Lord was trying to say something here. Jesus said that it was not given to them to know the ones that he was speaking to the parables. So the purpose it was given was that it fulfilled what Isaiah had prophesied about the people and about Israel at this time. And this is what Isaiah said, that they're weighed down with iniquity. They revolted against God and abandoned God and despised the Holy One. They turned away rather than repenting and returning to the Lord. They refused to listen. Their hearts were insensitive and their lips were unclean. So the question comes up, what well, could anybody understand the parables? Well, sure. Those who were Jesus' disciples, those who follow him, will know the mysteries of the kingdom. Now, there are amazing mysteries to be gleaned and to be delved out from these parables. And as a matter of fact, I've got three or four phenomenal books right here to my right that are related to the parables. And there's something to be learned there all the time, uh, something to be understood. As a matter of fact, you say understood or understand you six times in this chapter. But those outside the kingdom, those who uh, were not within the kingdom, they get everything in parables. Jesus asked his disciples in verse 51 if they understood these things, what he was saying. And their answer was, Yes, they understood what Jesus was saying. So what is the answer that you would give to the Lord if he were to ask you the same thing? Do you understand? Uh, wait till you see these parables. They're amazing things. Again, I'm Dale from the Precept Classes in Coleman, Alabama, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.